Hi, today's topic is the ESP32 and radar sensors and how can we combine them to implement some kind of intrusion detection. And this video is inspired by videos from bigclive.com about LED lamps with integrated radar sensor. So check out his channel. Fire. I don't know if that's uh, what's supposed to happen. Shit. Before I test the radar sensors, first some thoughts about the intrusion detector. Because I want to build a mobile device, I use rechargeable batteries. And this detector should run nearly 24 hours if needed. So I use a LiPo battery with an USB charger and a boost converter. And I tell you why I use this. And after this, I just implement the same same technical solution I used with my help button. So I would use email to send a message without extra costs and should for reliability um, send to one or more recipients. And for security reason, the communication should be encrypted. So I use the secure version of simple mail transfer protocol. This is the sensor module I use. It's based on an BESS0001 PIR controller. And I use this module because it's simply to use. It only have three pins. We have the 5 volt input pin, the ground pin and the output detection. So we just need one pin to control our ESP32. And this is my first setup. I use two of the sensor boards with a resistor and an LED at the output. And I just connect the 5 volt rail and the ground. And I use two sensors because I want to check if they interfere with each other. And if you buy this module, it came with a light dependent resistor because this module was used by LED lamps and they only should run if the light is off. So they also have a light sensor. And first I try to use this in the dark. So I switch out the light and test the both sensors in total darkness and how sensitive they are for movements. And just one word about the functionality of the, the sensor. They switch on at every movement. So I try it out, but there's no chance I cheat the module. For every just a light movement, they sense it. But if a movement is detected, the LED stays on for 30 seconds. So keep this in mind. If you use the sensor, they switch on the output for 30 seconds and then run again for the next sensing. And also some words about other sensors. I tried other sensors as well with the same BESS0001 chip, but they very difficult to use because they have some weird pin connection and also all the resistors are not capable to sense any movement without any changes. So if you want to try other sensors as well, you can do it, but I recommend the bigger ones because they just run out of the box. But for our intrusion detection, we need a sensor that just run every 24 hours. So it don't depends on light or darkness. And so I hack this module with a soldering iron and I just remove the light sensor. So let's move on with our project. First start with the LiPo battery and the radar sensor and also our microcontroller. Because our LiPo battery puts out maybe 3.7 volt at average and at maximum 4.2 volts. We need just a boost converter to boost up the voltage to 5 volt to run our sensor. And the next step is to run our microcontroller and the ESP32 needs 3.3 volt. So I also introduce a voltage regulator with also some smoothing capacitors to reduce the switching noise. 
And to charge the LiPo battery, I use also a charge module with some protection circuit for the LiPo and also a switch. So we can switch our detector on and off. And our ESP32 is just switched on when the output of the radar sensor is sensing a movement. So I use a MOSFET to switch the ground line from the ESP32 on and off. And if the ESP32 is running, it's just sent out an email and then stops running. And this is an example for our project, the LiPo battery, the switch, the charge controller and also the boost converter in a small plastic case. And today is just a glimpse look into the source code, just the same source code as the help button. So you have to define your email account with your sending emails and your receiving emails and you can have more than one receiving emails. And you also have to set your account and your password. And we start by connecting to our mail server and checking the SSL certificate. And if this is checked, we send an extended hello to the server. Then we send our login and our password in base64 notation. And if we logged in, we just send our email header, the from, the recipients and so on. And then we send our message. And in this instance, we send something, uh, intruder is detected and maybe we can send also the position if we have more than one sensor and that's all. So let's clean our example building and build it fresh from the start with build all and then after a while we flash our device. So I just press the button to, for the download mode and if the compile is ended, so it takes a while. So now we can press our flash button and flash the new firmware to our ESP32. And this also takes a while, but after we are finished, we can go to the bench and test our example. So after startup, if the sensor detects any movement, the LED lit up and also start the ESP32 and the ESP32 connects to the Wi-Fi. And after the connection is established, the email is sending out and we can receive our email to our client. In my instance, I use my mobile phone to get my email with my Gmail account and we can check my Gmail and it says an intruder is detected. So I just test it again and we start again. And yes, we also have to wait that the Wi-Fi is connected and the email is sending out. And then we receive an email and it's also the intruder detection email. So thanks for watching today and I hope you enjoy the video and give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel or if you miss something or something you know about the other sensor, please write it in the comments. So I hope you learned something and thank you, bye bye and have a nice day.